what I want to say here is that unless you're planning to be like a ransomware gang leader or to provide hacking as a service, I don't think cybersecurity is going to be the right industry right now. And in fact, I would say this, right? If you plan to use the skills that you learn, all right, to become a hacker, I would say, go for it. Go all out on it. You will do well because the industry right now is cooked. You look at the job market, there's hardly any cybersecurity roles and there are a lot more applicants than the jobs that are available in cybersecurity and that's the reality. So what does it mean really, right? Well, we need more hackers. If there are no hackers, there will be no cybersecurity jobs at all. So we do need more hackers. And so I was reading this article the other day and I think that this is so real and it is so relevant to the cyber security industry. And of course, I think they're terrified, not because they met me. I may be Chinese, but I am Singaporean. So you said today, as you often say, that you live in Singapore. Of what nation are you a citizen? Singapore. Are Senator. you a citizen of any other nation? No, Senator. Have you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? Senator, I serve my nation I'm in asked, Singapore. I, no, I, I did not. The only thing I don't have are the balloons in my bank account. Or I'm switching out to another site because there was a paywall for the previous one. So if you read the following, right? The executives are warning the country's heavily automated manufacturing industry could quickly leave Western nations behind, especially when it comes to electric vehicles. We're in a global competition and so on and so forth. There are no people, everything is robotic. All right, so they call it the dock factories. They don't even need to keep the lights on and most work is being done around the clock by robots. And I've been thinking about the robots itself because right now there is a revolution going on in the tech sector, in the cybersecurity sector too. What's happening right now is previously you had all this, for example, like ChatGPT, all these different large language models. And what you basically do is just give it a question, give it a prompt, it gives you a response. And now we're moving to something called agentic AI. So you're not just asking a question to this AI anymore. You're telling the AI what to do and it will figure it out on their own what to do. So for example, you would tell the AI, hey, I think my website is slowing down. I have this specific error and so on and so forth. And what it will do is that it will go over into your environment, troubleshoot what is going on, get the error and fix it. Amazing. And if you look at some of these models as available, especially those from Anthropic Claude, that is just mind blowing. And I've been using it. I've been using it to code agents and it's so efficient and it's so effective that I hardly touch any code anymore sometime in the next 12 to 18 months, we'll reach the point where like most of the code that's going towards these efforts is written by AI. And the other thing I want to say right now is that in the cybersecurity industry, we have all these different roles. Like, for example, you are a web application firewall or firewall analyst. So you run your queries or you interrogate against the logs and you build out web rules to help better protect the site. All right. Or you could be an antivirus engineer, right? So you deploy the antivirus, you look out for some kind of possible malware that are situated or right, all detonated inside the computer. And then what you do is you try to investigate that and threat hunt that across the environment, all right, in your IT landscape. And so on and so forth, right? So lots of roles in cybersecurity, but a lot of this now can be done by the agent. So you would have, for example, an AI agent that would do firewall lock analysis. You would have another agent that will manage the antivirus deployed across all of your laptops and your servers. You would have another agent that does, for example, like identity and access management analysis, as well as the update 
of those IAM policies. And the list goes on. So now you have all these AI agents that you can very quickly deploy across the organization to do all of this for you. All right. And you can do it very quickly, very simply. So what does it mean then? What does it mean then for this whole cybersecurity industry, right? Is that you should shift your focus to becoming the engineer who then maintains, all right, who then operationalizes all of these AI agents, just like the factory. In the factory, you would have all these robots. And what you do as the engineer is that you will tell the robot what to do. You're going to make cars. You're going to make toys. You're going to make equipments. You're going to make this specific hardware. That hardware, you're going to do quality control and so on. You become that engineer who operates all these machines. So you become the engineer who then work on all these AI agents. And that is something that I'm focusing on for the next three to five years. A lot of these companies are going and in fact they already see the value of generative ai and now with agentic ai so what we want is to have this massive improvement in terms of efficiency all right you could give that specific ai agent a role and it will do it for you and what you do now is you maintain all of that you maintain all of this so i'm not saying that you are going to build your own large language models. No, there's a lot of them out there right now that are incredibly efficient. So feel free to use those that's already available for you. What I'm saying is the deployment of the AI agents, refining the AI agents and their roles, improving the accuracy of how they process all these different tasks that are assigned to them. That is your role. So what is this role? This role is an AI operations engineer, and perhaps you are focusing on security. And it just, it just isn't only cybersecurity that can work on. It can be any other use cases. As long as you know how to deploy and how to operationalize all these AI agents, that is where the value is going to be. And that is where the industry is headed towards over the next three to five years easily and as a cybersecurity professional all right you really want to think about now wait a second what if we can start hacking the ai agents what if we can hack the martyrship that controls all of these ai agents would that make a change as an ex ransomware gang leader how can I drop a ransomware on these AI agents? That's, hey, you know what? Let's try that out and see how it goes. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll see you on the other side.